to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut a handkerchief flay and i'm going to be showing you guys two methods to do that so basically this whole handkerchief flay thing is like uh when you want to cut instead of cutting a circle you leave the square of the um uh, ends like that so that's basically the the like you know how you cut a circle but instead of cutting the circle and giving it that slant 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 like this so that you get your circle you just leave the ends like the four corner ends like a square so that's basically what the handkerchief make the uh, flay is so to, this one here the first method i'm going to show you guys so basically you're going to get your fabric however weight it is and then you're going to fold it this way fold it again and then when you fold it this way the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead on this corner with the fold you're going to divide your waist measurement by 6.28 so whatever your waist measurement is if it's 30 you're going to divide it by 6.28 and then this 6.28 here your whatever you get from it you're going to add the length of the pointiest parts right you know how the ends are like zigzag this way so the pointiest end where you want the pointiest end to be that's what you're going to add to this so um let's say you divide yours and you get like so let's say i divide this now and i get like five i'm, I'm not dividing it i'm just saying so let's say i get four point uh, seven or something around this here so the next thing you're supposed to do here is to add the length so measure the length of the pointiest part of this peplum that you want so let's say it is 10 that you got you're going to add 10 to this and then whatever you get you're going to add this together 4.7 plus 10 so you're going to get about 14.7 right so you're going to make sure that that 14.7 will fit into the width of your cloth folded this way and then it will fit into the width of your cloth folded this way right so you're going to make sure that it fits on this corner and then it also fits on this corner and the corner i'm talking about is the corner with the fold so you're going that's how you're going to determine the width of the fabric you're working with so when you divide your waist by 6.28 whatever you get which is your radius you're going to add the length of the pointiest part that's how you're going to determine the amount of fabric you're going to be using so when you fold your fabric into two this way make sure that that total that you got will fit in this way and it also fits in this way from the angle of this fold right you see my fold this way so like from the angle of this fold here and here not from this opening here like not from this opening the part with the curl so let's say that what i got now is about let's say what i got after calculating mine that my total is like 6.5 i'm going and then i have my 6.5 on this edge i'm going to also make sure that i have my 6.5 on this edge so i'm going to go ahead and mark that here so i'm going to cut off my excess just so i can have a four um that uh, equal square like the corner the corners are the same uh length so i'm going to go ahead now and cut out this excess from this part here so that I can make sure that I have that 6.28 on the four corners here. So guys, the next thing you're going to do now is to, once you've cut the four corners and the square is equal, now what you're going to do is to go to this edge again, back to this edge where you normally cut your circle. You're going to divide the first radius that you got before you, because remember, this one here was our radius and this one here is the length of the pointiest part. So let's say my radius that I got for mine is about uh, 2 inches. I'm just going to go ahead. You know how we normally mark the 2 inches? You're going to go ahead like this. And insert that measurement this way how we normally mark our circle right so you're going to go ahead and get your circle waist so this is what we have here now right and you know normally when we are cutting a circle the next thing you're going to do is to just go ahead and insert the length like this right you normally go ahead and insert the length but no that's not what you're going to be doing for this year for this year you're going to leave all the angles the same so now this is basically it all you have to do now is to go ahead and cut this out so you see we're done with this here and this is it you're going to go ahead and you're going to open it this way now you have your so you're going to open it this way so guys basically this is like a square with a circle instead of cutting out the edges of the circle because normally if you're cutting a circle you cut something that looks like this right your circle scared you cut off all these excess edges but that's not the the whole handkerchief or is also called a square a, a skirt of square flay so the whole top the whole meaning is just that the ends are square which is like this 
you see it's square instead of circle and then you have your opening here so you see if it's like a peplum top that you're making you can fold it this way and then you i'm sure you guys must have seen that peplum that looks like this and then you're going to open up the back here and that will be where you're going to insert your zip so guys if you're going to be using zip for this right what you're going to do is that my waist measurement which for example i use 30 you're going to add two inches so you're going to add two inches to it right and then you're going to have 32 this two inches is for one one side will have one inch and then one side will have one inch so that you can be able to fix in your zip right because when you put in your zip this is what you're going to need about one inch on each side right so that's why you add two inches to the waist before dividing it by 6.28 to get your normal radius so that's how you're going to do it so this is the first method gone so now this is how your play would look right so now moving on to the next one so guys for this next one is also the same thing here this is what it looks like here so fold my fabric first open it this way fold it into two fold it again right but remember this second one here this one here you use the square to get it this one here you're using a rectangle right so we use the square method where the four corners are the same this one here i'm using a rectangle where the four corners are not the same so as you can see on this end here i have about seven inches down here i have nine inches down here i have the same seven inches down here i have nine inches so this one here is more like a rectangle so how you normally cut on this one here is the same thing you're going to go ahead insert your waist match your waist radius divided by 6.28 so whatever you get let's say i get like about uh the same two inches is what i'm going to use so i'm going to go ahead and mark that two inches from this angle mark two inches on this end here and then i'm going to just connect my two inches this way right and then the next thing you're going to do now is this part here is going to be your short your short flay right the shortest part of your flay is what you're going to make sure that you have on this end so let's say you measure your shortest part of the flay on the dress and then you get like uh let's say you get let's say you get 20 make sure that this part here contains the 20 right and then you're going to insert your longest part of your flay here if that makes sense so your shortest part of your flay will be here the longest part of your flay will be here so how you're going to do it is for me i have about five inches on this side here and then i have about nine inch uh, about 8.5 almost nine inches on this part so what i have to do this here is going to be the shorter part of my flay this is going to be the pointier part of my flay so the next thing you're going to do now is you're going to so i want to have about five inches here i'm going to go ahead and mark it here and then i have i want to have 8.5 here i'm going to go ahead and mark 8.5 here so what i'll have to do now is just to connect these two ends here and then the next thing you're going to do is this measurement here you're also going to transfer it here so what i have here is five inches i'm going to transfer it at this corner here so that's five inches here I'm going to mark that here and then from here now you're going to connect this two so that's how you're going to get this rectangular one if that makes sense so all you have to do now is to just go ahead cut out your waist cut out this waist here i'm just going to go ahead and cut out this end here so that's basically going to be my uh the end of my flay here so you see all you have to do now is to don't uh, don't forget whenever you're doing it to always remember to add your seam allowance so that's basically it for this here so you see this is it here so this is it it depends on you how you want to fold yours but this is basically how the handkerchief is going to be you can put this center part to be this center part here to be your um you see how it's already flaying out you can put this shorter part to be your center and then allow these two to drape like this like the one on the picture so you see allow the center here the shorter part to be the center of your skirt and then let these two drapes fall on the two corners so that's basically how you cut this one here so that's it for the video thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye